Hey guys, Philip Koontz here, former Navy SEAL and owner of Karambit Tactical Knives. You guys can find us and shop with us on karambit.com. Hey, in today's video, I want to talk about how to close a karambit. I'd say probably uh, four or five times a month we get calls saying, hey, how do I close these? And I understand sometimes it's actually harder to close these knives, especially when they are brand new. So you need to work them in. Once you've got it worked in, though, it's very easy. So there's three different types of knives of, of, of the locking mechanisms that I want to talk about today. This first one, this is our, our uh, 479 with our aluminum scales. This works with our 479 models and our 599 models. They're all made the same way. So this has something called a liner lock. And this liner lock you'll be able to see is a separate piece of metal that lines up right here in the middle of the handle. So as soon as I open this knife, you'll see this liner lock just pop into place right there. The way that you close this is you simply just push that liner lock to the left. So as you push this to the left, you'll watch me here pushing it to the left and the blade folds right back in very easily. The second knife I want to talk about are our Evos, and we have two sizes of these, our 479 and our 599 Evos as well. Same thing, liner lock, but the Evos actually have a unique locking mechanism on them called the Laws Locking System. And this is an, act, an extra, an added security measure to make sure that the knife stays locked in its place with the Laws Locking Mechanism. So how to close this knife is a two-step process. It has the liner lock right there, like the one I showed you before. And here's the law's locking system. So it's a lever that you can push up or down. So when this lever is pushed up, this is ensuring that the knife is locked and that you cannot pu pull that, that uh, liner lock to the left. So that ensures that it's, it's doubly safe for you. And the law's locking system, when you push that lever down, that unlocks it, that's the first locking mechanism, then enabling you to push this more to the left and then close in the blade. So this is our Evo again, and this comes with our, G, uh, our G10 scales and our aluminum scales as well too. We saw a lot of extra scales or handles that you can swap out with the Evo. And I've got a video showing you how to swap out those scales as well too. The third locking mechanism is something called a frame lock. This is my UDT. This is my personal carry. The UDT stands for the Underwater Demolition Team. So this is the precursors to the Navy SEALs. So we named this the UDT. Love this one. It's made in the United States. And this has the strongest locking mechanism that you'll find on a folding knife. It's called a frame lock. And the, simply put, the lock is built into the frame. So again, the strongest locking mechanism, but the good news is, is you're still gonna close this the same way. So you're gonna push this, this uh, frame lock to the left there and the blade will be able to easily fold in. Again, it's a part of the frame of the knife and you push this to the left and the blade folds in. So today we talked about the three locking mechanisms that we have, and that's it for right now. You guys have a great day, and enjoy shopping on Karampit.com.